Why doesn't everyone at home say a big hello? One, two, three. Hi! Oh my gosh, that was so good. Welcome back to another week of Online Kids Church. We've got so much planned for you guys, so keep your eyes on the screen. Shh. Okay, now is your time to try and win a little game. Can you find the hidden animals in these pictures? It's not going to be easy, so maybe you can do it together with who you're tuning into Kids Online today. Come and see Jesus growing up. This is Jesus. Hey -o. Jesus is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in a barn because there was no room at the inn for him. Jesus had a mom named Mary Hi. and a dad named Joseph. Hey 
Jesus grew up in a small town called Nazareth. Jesus had brothers and sisters. One of his brothers was James, Hi. and he followed Jesus his whole life. Hey, Jesus, wait up! Jesus also had a cousin named John. Hey, John. Hey, Jesus. Who would later be known as John the Baptist. Mom, we're home. Jesus was an Israelite, and his family practiced the Jewish customs and holidays. Jesus. Everyone who knew Jesus liked him. Jesus' earthly dad was a carpenter. What's up? What's up? Ah, I see. Jesus learned from Joseph and became a carpenter himself. As Jesus grew up, he learned more about God and what his plan was. He studied the word of God and remembered all that it said. Jesus prepared himself for everything that God wanted him to do. So when it was time, he was ready to be the Messiah, the promised savior of the Israelites and all of mankind. Kia ora whanau. It is great to see you back again at Kids Online. It's been such an awesome time together. I just love having the white girls helping us out. They are phenomenal young women and we are so proud to have them as part of our team. Well, today we're going to keep thinking about what it was like for Jesus when he was growing up. Last week, we looked at Jesus when he went to the temple, and I was trying to look in the Bible to find some more stories. But when I had a look, I saw in Matthew, we learn about the wise man coming when Jesus was a small boy and why they had to go to Egypt. In Luke, it talks about how the reason that Jesus was born in Bethlehem, um, the angels, the shepherds, and then Jesus being presented to the temple when he was eight days old. But then, apart from the story that we did last week, there's pretty much nothing. I've always thought about what would it have been like to grow up with Jesus as your brother? What would it be like to have a perfect sibling? Now, I know that you are the perfect sibling in your house, right? But this was an actual, actual perfect sibling. And I wonder what it was like when he was trying to learn to walk. Did Jesus just know how to walk? Did he fall over when he was doing that? When he became a carpenter, did the first time he like his, you know, Joseph was showing him how to do the sawing, did he just like, oh, yeah, nailed it every time? Or did he learn how to do this? Did he sometimes make bad furniture? Well, there is a verse in the Bible that tells us a little bit. We get a small glimpse into what it was like as for Jesus as a boy. It says in Luke chapter 2, verse 52, And Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favour with God and men. So what I think what I get from that is that Jesus grew in these things. This means he didn't always have all the answers. The story last week, he was, went to the temple and was asking questions. He was listening. He was learning. He was growing. And it's just so great because it helps remind me that we have a saviour who understands. Jesus it was not, he, Jesus was always perfect, but he was still fully human. He knows what it was like to have all the emotions that we have. When he was, he might have been scared to try and make his first chair he might have been scared to, um, you know, have a go at playing, kicking the ball around with his friends. We don't know for sure, but we know he was fully human as well as fully God. And I just think that's a really cool reminder to us this January that we have a saviour who understands. Can't wait to see you guys back in person. It has been such a pleasure to see you online and we will see you soon. Kaukite. Well, Kids Online, that's a wrap. We need to head off, but we'll see you next week in person this time. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Have a good week. See you next week. <laughs>